reported in March how a Safety Harbor Health Clinic offered questionable 15-minute PCR COVID tests to international travelers. Now, I-Team investigator Adam Walzer has uncovered new information that is raising more questions to whether the Gulf Vire, the clinic, violated COVID testing rules and whether the state did enough to hold that clinic accountable. The sign in front of Remedies Health and Wellness Clinic in Safety Harbor said rapid PCR COVID test results in 15 minutes. But new documents obtained by the I-Team through a Freedom of Information Act request do not indicate the clinic ever applied for or received permission to perform PCR tests. Enjoy it while you can. Paul Gelsleichter went to Remedies last October for a PCR test he needed to board a flight to Europe. At that time, negative PCR test results were required to enter dozens of countries. Paul's test was administered by Remedy's owner, Tracy Green, a licensed advanced practice registered nurse. I told her I came over from the airport. She said, oh, we'll get you right in and out so you don't miss your flight. And you left with this certificate in hand. I sure did. 15 minutes or less? Yes. PCR tests can detect COVID infections days earlier than rapid antigen tests. Records we obtained from the CDC show remedies only applied to conduct antigen testing, a fast, inexpensive, and less accurate form of testing, the same type used in disposable home test kits. In January, I got tested at Remedies by Green, who wasn't wearing a mask or gloves. She swabbed my nose, collected $125, and notified me 27 minutes later that I tested negative. Green gave me this signed certificate, which included her health care license number. I later identified myself as a reporter. We're just curious about the PCR test. Everyone has told us that it's pretty hard to do one in less than a half hour. Well, it's not because I have a lab. Okay. I bought the equipment and I have a lab in there. I don't have to send it out. Green refused to show us that lab. We were unable to get answers about the exact type of test she claimed to offer. The state couldn't get answers either. This letter says the initial application for remedies was incomplete and didn't provide the name and manufacturer of the lab test or the testing device. After multiple requests for additional information, a letter informed remedies that its application was entered into a state database, reminding the clinic that all testing results must be reported to the Department of Health. Records show Remedies wasn't inspected for more than a year, but Green told me a different story. That's our inspection, where we passed the inspection. Yeah, this is okay. from the state. That inspection report was for a different lab, belonging to Main Street Pharmacy, which operates in the same building. And there was no problem whatsoever. Everything was compliant and on the up and up and done. That pharmacy was compliant, but a DOH spokesperson confirmed to the I-Team that it had no records indicating remedies reported any COVID test results as required by law. It is the honor system, and, and I think patients patients rely and trust on healthcare providers that, that they know whatever the applicable laws and regulations are and that they're complying with them. Dr. Catherine Drabiak is co-director of the Law and Medicine Program at USF School of Medicine. She says that while the state is supposed to regularly inspect labs, that wasn't the case during the pandemic. There are limited resources, and so if it's something like a health department, they're trying to figure out how do we work with the limited resources. Remedies was finally inspected March 17th of this year, two months after we first brought the clinic to the state's attention. By that time, Remedies had moved out. The inspection report said Remedies was in compliance because at the time of the survey, the laboratory was not testing and has voluntarily terminated their certificate of waiver. DOH said a complaint was referred to the Attorney General's office, which confirmed receiving it but took no action since Green is no longer operating Remedies. She should uh, certainly be warned or uh, chastised in some way. Green's record shows she has no complaints or disciplinary actions. We sent Green a list of questions about the lack of a waiver to perform PCR testing and the DOH saying it had no COVID test reports from Remedies. Her attorney replied that he has no comment on any of the allegations. Paul Gelsleichter believes the state needs to better enforce its own rules for all of our sakes. This could have been a disaster had I been positive. I'm I-Team Investigator Adam Walser with photojournalist Matt McGlashan taking action for you.